Hello everyone, I am Kelly of Gaming, and welcome to another iRacing video. This time it's not about what race, um, it's actually, if you haven't know, or if you're not following iRacing, um, of course, we got the new season, uh, 2020 season 2 build, which features a new brand new car and a brand new class. It is the Porsche Cayman 718 MR, I think it's called, GT4 class. Uh, yeah, GT4, of course, new class. Um, it will get featured in the uh, Nürburgring 24 hours. Um, that is one of the races, as well as um, the laps at racing. Um, eight hours not Schleifer this week. Actually, I'm not going to do that, but because I'm doing Club Sports Series. And as um, in official series, it is in the IMSA Michelin Pilot Challenge, which I am going to do um, next week. It should have a video next week. So, um, yeah. So now, before I drive this car, please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And, uh, yeah, Porsche GT4. So, actually, I've driven, like, 10 minutes before this session. And, of course, it's a test session around the Sebring, um, the small layout, the upper part. So, uh, well, let's see what we can do. So, you've got this fancy um, little HUD here. It's actually a really detailed HUD. As you can see, you've got oil temp, oil press, water temperature, fuel level. Those are, like, really general stuff. Like, not general, but basic. Um, it's found, like, a lot of cars. You've got the lap time and the lap difference, which is really good in like another section. And in the middle, top middle, you've got the speed, so you can see um, it's fluctuating a bit. Um, right hand side top, it'll have the lap, what lap you're in. Left hand side top, it's the condition of the track, I think. As we don't have um, wet conditions, it's just dry right now. So, um, maybe this little bit of signs of maybe they will implement rain in the future. Hopefully. Um, so, let's move on to the down a little bit more. Um, below the gear, uh, you see that's the gear. Um, you've got the tyre pressure, which is uh, the new thing we got. Uh, not really new, we got in the BMW M8 GTE. So, we've got this now in this car which is really good um gonna go around this corner okay so um on the left side lower bit we've got the brake bias as you can see i can actually switch it of course i've got a button assigned to adjust the brake bias so i can actually adjust it i'm gonna go back to brake bias zero and then um below the tire pressure just gonna round this corner first. You can see that should be the RPM. You can see it's going back to first gear, it's like 6,000 RPM. I mean, like really low gear, it's 1,400. So that is the RPM. Um, right side of the RPM, we got the traction control, um, we got the electronic st stability control, and I believe, yeah, those two. The right hand side, uh, we got. Oh wait, sorry, wrong. Uh, we got the ABS, I think, and the MIL, I really don't know. And we got the Porsche logo. And below the RPM, we got the Porsche name and the font. So that is basically the um, just little small HUD panel in front of you. Um, we got some. Why not show these? Um, so yeah, this is the whole car. It's, 100 FOB. I don't usually do that, but you can see the steering wheel. There's not much on the steering wheel. Um, uh, there's some wind stuff. There's, of course, your roll cage and uh, stuff like that. So, gonna focus back to where I put my car. Um, 55 usually I'm using. So, um, 
Yeah, that's really good for a drive now. And uh, no, let's not talk about it. Talk is absolutely useless. And uh, yeah, let's go for drive. Of course, this car is slower than the uh, GT3s, as in the uh, GT4. It is, of course, slower. I'm not going to push, because um, I still haven't get the hang of it. So. As you can see, this fun. It's quite vulnerable. As you can see, the poor tires. Um, kind of makes it difficult to break on the grass. So I'm gonna go back out. As well, I don't have the livery right now. So, um, yeah. Now, I'm just talking about general stuff. The Porsche 718 Cayman. Um, of course, it is the new GT4 class. Um, we will, I think, we will have the BMW of the GT4 later on this year, so I uh, will see some multi-class, multi-car racing, mixed multi-car racing, um, later on this year. Um, of course we only have this GT4 right now. Um, I don't have the specs, because this is not really a uh, car, like, channel, it's a uh, sim racing channel, so, uh, I can only tell you that it is definitely slower than a uh, GT3. Um, it's faster than PCR, so Michelin Pilot Challenge we will be faster than PCR. Uh, the PCR I mean. So, uh, yeah. So this, um, same as other cars, it sold for eleven and ninety-five uh, US dollars. Like, Thing. So, uh, it's alright. There's no alright, it's just... And I do think it's quite different of a feel. It's quite understeering, and it's just a bit twitchy as well. You can see I've just gone over the bump. Of course I'm using baseline setup, because I still don't have any setup right now. But, I've just gone over the bump, and it just goes off the grass there. So, it's... I think it's a bit hard to drive. It's like Ford GT. Uh, GT I believe. Uh, some of my uh, teammates uh, have said. Yeah, it's a bit like that. Car uh, twitchy. Gotta slow through the power, or else you're just gonna get out of your control. And, uh, well, quick Narnia, or go to Shadow Realm, you know? Idea. But I think it's twitchy, but understeering, because uh, you can see it's not really responding. No, it's not. And the, it's quite tail happy as well of the car. Um, I'm just trying to cruise around because I don't want to embarrass me. I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to. Embarrassing or whatever, but yeah, I'm not too great in the car still. It's quite late. Um, quite. I'll say this start. This car is quite stubborn. It's not smart because it just doesn't react responsive. You know, really slow reaction time for the car. So it's a bit hard to drive. I'm gonna do a better lap here. Let's see what we can do. I don't even know where this top is going. Right so let's we'll be honest. So, uh, I, um. The sound, let's talk about the sound, it's quite good. Of course, um, hear more raw engine sound. I believe there is, I, I don't, I'm not a, like a really car crazy kind of guy, but I believe there is a turbo in these cars, I'm not sure. But, um, more, if you compare it to a hybrid, 
more full powerful ICE sound. And the gear shift looks detailed. Like here's detail, not looks. Can't look stupid. But yeah, it looks good. actually here's detail. Um lights, the LED, it's alright. It works, say. So. Um like, what, what do you say? I mean... Not too bad of a car. But, but... Not good at it. So I get it, I guess. Um, yeah. You definitely need to practice. But, it's gonna be hard. When you heat, um, just something I found. When you heat up tires, it'll be more responsive, but when tires are cold, yes, deadly, deadly. Yeah, just deadly. Tires are really deadly. I'm not used to that. So, uh, of course, pit, end, uh, pit limiter. You've got the pit limiter here. That's going to be really good. We're going to come into the pits and uh, end our session here. So, what do I think of it? Um, of course, it's a new GT4 car. So, it's actually... Hmm... It's not for new new guys, it's definitely not, because, well, first of all, the car is understeery. It's going to be very intimidating for the rookies to drive this car. Um, you won't get the hang of it. I suggest going for probably the GT3s. It will be easier to drive than this one. This one's quite understeery, quite snappy. Sometimes, when you really want to plant the power down. Um, yeah, it's just all, like, mechanically. Like, how it feels. Um, and, uh, yeah, the tail, a little bit sometimes, tail happy. But, if you warm the tires up, if you can warm the tires up, the car would be better. Um, like, more responsive, basically. Sound-wise, pretty good. Um, I'll, I don't know realistically, um, because I don't have the car, I don't, I don't follow the car, I'm just a sim racing kid, um, so, yeah, I think it's pretty de decent, pretty nice, um, of the sound, um, if you compare it to GT3 and GTE, you can hear more of a ICE, than like a tur uh, hybrid, like less of the turbo, kind of. So, uh, yeah, that is my iRacing Porsche 718 Cayman GT4 review. Hope you guys enjoy. Please smash the like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys later. Bye!